Hi everyone, back with another video. Today I just thought it'd be pretty cool to actually go through what I have in my collection and maybe talk about some of my favourite pieces that are in there, uh, how I came across them, where I picked them up, that sort of thing. Uh, in the last video I did mention that I had a game room project that I was hoping to get a bit of work done on. Hasn't really been any progress there, but uh, I've a couple of weeks off work coming up so we should see some progress over the next few weeks. So I just thought it'd be a good opportunity to go through this stuff now while it's still sort of semi-organised and easy to pick things out. Um, and then over the next few weeks we'll try and do like a little update video on how the room's coming along uh, We'll gradually get some of this stuff moved in and um, we're gonna do some live game hunting as well So hopefully uh, we will get them out in the next few weeks and um, if you watched the last video Thanks a million like we've got nearly 200 views on it, which I know is Nothing but like to me. It's pretty cool for something that I just want to do organically um, and like there's actually a couple of subscribers, a couple of likes from people that aren't me or my girlfriend. So if uh, if that was you or if you watched it and you're back watching this one, I just want to say thanks a million. Really appreciate it. Right, so this is the collection here now. I have it organised, obviously you know, all their stuff up the top. And as we move down, we kind of get a little bit more modern. So I'll just do a quick little pan down and back up just to show what's in there. Uh, obviously, it's not the biggest collection in the world, but uh, that's kind of the purpose of showing this. A lot of what I see on YouTube is, you know, people that are out there doing game room tours, picking up games. They're already like they have thousands and thousands of things so i just thought it'd be nice to kind of do a little video on what the more average person probably would have in their game collection maybe it's more maybe it's less i don't know but uh anyway this is the super nintendo section this is all stuff that's been picked up over the last last year or so on ebay um with the exception of the console i'll get to that last um yeah street fighters both of them were sort of individual lots like boss um the boxed ones uh bar the street fighter uh, that's the box for this one the the four there came in a sort of a little bundle deal with um i think it was oh god hopefully i'll knock everything down here now um yeah it was un squadron hitting the camera with it that came with that that was like a, a 30 euro deal which was pretty good at the time i think un squadron is like a 25 euro game now nothing really to sing home about with the other stuff but the uh the tree here, the Star Wing, uh, I picked up from the Retro Gaming Store in Wexford. A really cool uh, website, um, independently owned game store. A uh, chap there buys and sells, uh, Anthony I think his name is. Um, but yeah, it's really cool just to try and support independent places when you can. Uh, obviously, as I go through this, a lot of this stuff has been picked up in places that aren't independent. But uh, I check his website all the time. I always try and pick stuff up if I can. Uh, it's really good, actually. He actually goes into full detail on, you know, cart condition, things like that. Uh, whereas, you know, when you buy from CEX or somewhere, there's always kind of a question mark over, you know, what condition's going to be like when it gets here. Um, probably one of my favourite bits in here. Illusion of Time, one of my favourite games growing up, absolutely love it. Uh, not something you actually see very often, um, and it's one that I set an alert on my phone for when it comes back in stock in CEX. And I think it turned up about six months ago, uh, 20 euros, so delighted to add that. Uh, the F Zero is probably my most recent pickup. Um, I was in CEX down in Kilkenny uh, last week actually, and they had this on the shelf. They actually labelled it as the N64 version, so it was 15 rather than the 20 that they normally charge for it. So we snapped that up, caught them slipping a little bit, but 15 euro is still still paying up a bit for a SNES game. But I don't mind, like this isn't, I'm, you know, I'm not in this to try and flip things. I'm here to sort of add things to the collection and look, if we can get a bargain, if we can get a little bundle and we can kind of recoup some of the money by trading and stuff like that, we'll do that. But um, for now, it's just about kind of getting games into the collection that we want. Now, Nintendo 64, oh, actually, sorry, I never talked about the Super Nintendo. That's when I actually picked up off CEX uh, last year when I kind of... Probably how most people have gotten into game collecting over the last year got into it. A lot of this is stuff that I kind of had boxed away, took it down from the attic, took it down from the room. Just started playing old games, started putting it together on the shelf and just thought, yeah, it'd be really cool to actually try and go back and sort of buy the childhood again in a kind of a way. Uh, so we got a few of those carts and obviously had no way of testing them, so I had to get a Super Nintendo. Uh, didn't really know much about where to go to buy things like this at the time. So I paid up for it on CEX, I paid €140. Euro. Um, but the box is actually in like really nice condition. Wasn't expecting the Street Fighter 2 edition. Um so like the console itself as well is immaculate. So 140 euro I think actually wasn't like I said, it was paying up a bit, but in the grand scheme of things I was kinda glad I did it. Plus you get the guarantee with it, so you know you're always you always have the the little safety net there if it's a bit dodgy. Um N sixty four, again, this is all stuff that's been picked up over the last year. Uh I'll go through <laughs> again, I'll go through the console at the end. That one's a bit of a bit of a jammy story there. Um but yeah the games themselves 
probably Banjo Kazooie actually I picked up again Retro Game in store last week. Um, he had that for I'm gonna say 15 euro from wrong. I'll, I'll put the price up the bottom, but 15 euro really good price on that. Um, Castlevania CX pickup, torn label. Um, although worth mentioning some of the other ones, Golden Eye, Wave Race, uh, No Mercy. I picked them up off CX and they're they're perfect. Zelda Ocarina at time was in horrible condition when it came. That was another CX one. I paid 30 euro for that. I've done a bit of a clean up job on it since, so but it still does have that tear in the label, which is disappointing. But that's when you buy online from CEX, unfortunately, that's the chance you take. Um, now, the console itself, the boxed console and the boxed games, obviously some of the games here from these boxes, uh, I actually won. Um, I won in an online competition. I was actually going to do, I, I think I have footage from when I unboxed it back in November last year. Um, so we might splice something together with that, we'll wait and see. But uh, yeah, buy and play on Facebook. Uh, Paddy Tone is the name of the chap that runs the page. Uh, he does... Uh, it just does raffles basically for you know old game bundles he does modern raffles as well for playstation 5's television bundles it's like say a five or ten or a ticket uh, limited to so many entries and yeah this like i entered a competition that the nintendo 64 was in the box games and down here we've got the sega saturn was in there box sega saturn and there's probably five games in the back there as well uh, it was literally the second time i entered the competition so i probably spent 20 euro worth of tickets and that's what i came out with so like that was massive without any of that stuff like this game collection would be really thin and that's really what sort of spurred me on to kind of start picking up bits and pieces to add to it so uh check out buy and play actually that's uh you know could be a really good way to get your game collection kicked off if you're thinking of doing it next shelf down uh gamecube this is probably the one i'm most proud of or the one that i love the most um with the exception of twilight princess in the back there that was a present from my amazing girlfriend for christmas last year um, everything else, you know, except a couple of filler games there, everything else is stuff that I actually already had here at home. Uh, obviously Amiibos, I've something I picked up over the last year. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know, random still sealed memory card. Uh, like kind of filler games, nothing great. Mario Kart's in there, uh, but like we have Wind Waker, we have the promotional disc. Minish Cap, like that's just something I picked up, I think, maybe five years ago. Uh, went into a GameStop, it was just in a bin for forever, wasn't bought with the intention of like collecting it or anything like that. Just, I had a Nintendo DS, I knew I could play Game Boy Advance games on it, it was a Zelda game I'd never played. Uh, I played it, I put it back in the box, I put it away, it's been sitting on the shelf ever since, and I don't know, I think the value at the moment is well over 100 euros, so that's probably one of the coolest bits that I actually have in there. Oh, it's falling over, we'll fix it later. We is probably where I've picked up the most stuff. Uh, if you see my last video, there was a, a free bundle that I picked up locally. So there's a few junky games there that I'm not really sure what to do with. They don't really trade for anything, but we might kind of use the cases to switch out some of these. Probably 10 of these games for the Wii I already had. The rest are like filler bits I've picked up off CEX, uh, retro game store. Just, you know, as I go along, just to fill out the shelves. Uh, that's my 25th anniversary. Is it 25th anniversary? The 25th anniversary. Uh, Legend of Zelda 3DS console boxed. Uh, has gotten some use over the years, unfortunately. It's not immaculate, but um, still cool to have. We've got the Skyward Sword um, special edition in there as well with the gold controller. That's really cool. Uh, again, that's something that, and the DS, yeah, something that I just picked up when they got released years ago and just kept uh, kept a hold of them. I didn't do that with all my other stuff over the years. I tell you, we'd have a much, we'd have a much longer video. Uh, then this is into the more modern. Obviously, there's a few random, like, sort of bits in the corner. Mostly, uh, Amiibos based around Breath of the Wild. Uh, the Switch itself uh, is not in the box there. I think it's downstairs in the sitting room. That's where I'm kind of playing at the moment. I'm sort of playing my way through Hyrule Warriors. Nearly finished it. Uh, so yeah, a couple of different Joy Cons, uh, that sort of stuff. And then the last shelf, I pointed out the Sega Saturn, just a, a PlayStation Four. That's just again something I picked up maybe five years ago, just to have a few games for it. Uh, got a bit of use over the years, but I'm more of a Nintendo person. Uh, but you look it's there we've got the vr we've got all the boxes for it so they look well on the shelf so yeah that's that's pretty much it for the collection um maybe i'll do another video going into a bit more detail that's just a quick kind of flick through uh as i'm looking at it here now so what i'll do is i'll just go in i'll really quickly show the 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 game room inside talk to a few yeah a few quick ideas about what we're gonna do with all this stuff when we get it in there and then we'll wrap the video so this is the space i was talking about uh, it was basically old built-in wardrobes with doors hanging off them so we just stripped them off the whole thing needs to be obviously pulled out, uh, cleaned, painted. We're going to try and add a few shelves in. 
Um, so hopefully, as I said, next week or two with some time off work, we'll get some progress. Uh, it's just a bit reluctant to pull the consoles out because obviously they still get used most of the time. But yeah, I think um, I think it's got good potential. Like it's a big area. A lot of the hard work is done in terms of like I don't need to build big shelves and units or go and buy bookcases. Like we can literally just get a few a few pieces of wood, just cut them, paint them, get them up there. I'm not aiming to do that in too dramatic or, or too crazy obviously I don't have the budget for it, first of all um, but again I don't have the massive collection that most people have so I just thought it'd be nice to kind of put a few shelves in uh, we'll try and get it all spread out get our big box stuff up the top here and uh, we'll, no, we'll just work on a nice little display and try and kind of neaten up uh, the area here where we're going to have the consoles I'll probably do uh, as I showed in the, the little tour there I've got a PS4 have another kind of television that I might actually sit in here set the ps4 up and um, we can probably have the more modern consoles here keep the central area for you know the older retro stuff and then maybe we can just display our games and things like that over there but yeah we'll uh, we'll work away on that over the next few weeks and hopefully we'll do a little update video just to show you how things are coming along and uh, yeah I don't know just it might be might be something that's that's fun for people that are watching to kind of see it progress along yeah, so that's it for the video. Hopefully people enjoyed it. Um, probably went on a bit longer than I thought. I kind of started waffling when I started talking about the games and stuff. But, uh, you know, when you start talking about things that you love, you tend to go on a little bit. So we'll try and get another video out in the next couple of weeks. Definitely try and get some progress done on the game room inside. We're going to try and get out and do some game hunting. So hopefully we can bring you those uh, over the next couple of weeks. And, yeah, we'll just try and keep putting content out. Try and get better at it. And try and grow the channel. Uh, so, again, if you got this far, really appreciate it. If you watched the last video, if you liked, subscribed really cool thanks so much and hopefully we'll see you again in a few weeks